Well, teacher pay raises always a hot topic at the Capitol today, and lawmakers on both sides say they've reached an agreement. But there's still some debate over how much teachers should get. News 4's Capitol Bureau Chief Nick is live with today's developments. Nick Camper. Yeah, the agreement is that teachers deserve a raise. The question that still needs to be answered is whether that's going to be through a $2,500 raise across the board to all teachers or a $3,000 raise to the minimum with a gradual increase over time based on experience. In order to retain the teachers that we have and to recruit teachers from out of state, we need to be competitive in the region. This pay raise puts us top of the region. Democratic Representative Trish Ranson's proposal to increase the minimum teacher pay by $6,000 failing to pass Monday. It was an amendment to a Senate bill which would give a $3,000 raise to the state's minimum salary. I love the pay raise idea, but I know it's not going to make it into the final uh, a uh, piece of legislation, the budget agreement. Republican Mark McBride voted against Ranson's amendment because he believes it wouldn't pass a floor vote. Representative Ranson doesn't want teacher pay raises and private school tax credits in the same education plan. She believes most are against the tax credit proposal. As far as the majority of Oklahomans, I don't believe that they support vouchers in this state. 90% of Oklahoma families choose public ed. The House's original plan gives a $2,500 pay raise across the board to all teachers without changing the state's pay schedule. The Senate's plan would bump up the minimum teacher salary by three grand to $39,000 and gradually change the state pay schedule. Representative McBride supports the Senate's plan, but doesn't want to break up the House's education package overall. And I'm supportive of the Speaker and, and his overall package that puts money into to every part of education, and it doesn't, it's not picking winners and losers. So paid maternity leave for teachers was also expected to be heard today was on the schedule for this committee. But Chairman Mark McBride said it was not going to be heard. It may be heard at a later date. There is a couple more weeks before the deadline. Reporting live at the Capitol, Nick Camper, Oklahoma's News 4. Thank you.